Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I think I finally figured out a way to have my webcam set up. Maybe, I don't know. Y'all let me know. Also, I don't even know if I need my mic. I think there's a mic on the webcam. I don't know which one it's using though. Let's be honest. I have played a little bit of this, but because I wanted to switch the audio to Japanese and then I realized I couldn't read the subtitles. Okay, we got another copper coin. Here for groceries? Yep. And you must have been out hunting. Yeah, it was a good haul. Look at you, lady breadwinner. If you were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Good thing I'm a girl. Oh, yeah? You ought to do something about your style, then. Uh, yeah. I kind of broke my comb. So get a new one. Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sale on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but... I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When's it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh, what is wrong with Midgand? I mean, don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But... We're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, uh of course. For now, here, on the house. You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special key. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! Please. This is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right! <gasps> what? <sighs> what was this made? Okay. Luffy must be starving by now. I'd better hurry home. <coughs> Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know! They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. You're Nico's bodyguards, right? Start acting like it. <coughs> they're completely hopeless. Maybe. But they're so cute. So I forgive them. You have to forgive every dog, though. That, that's, that's law. That's a lot, right? Celica taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest. They're fantastic. Simple, yet elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese and the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road. <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms. Would it make more money than hunting Frickleboars? Definitely, maybe. Even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Lafayette a nice heavy winter coat. And Arthur's gloves are in tatters, so he needs new ones. Oh, don't be so boring. I get where you're coming from, but come on. Think big. Dream, Velvet. Dream. Think big? Hmm. No, thanks. I want a peaceful life with Lafayette and Arthur. That's all. You're impossible. Then again, 
Maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. Okay. Ooh. Let's steal this shit. Resistance rings. I'm bringing it. We're gonna equip that. I don't know what any of this stuff is for, so let's see what they have. Okay. I have no money, because tutorial fights apparently don't give me money. I'm gonna save real quick, just so I don't have to walk back. We're gonna overwrite stuff. This doesn't have room like Tails did. Ooh. Let's steal people's stuff! Why don't they just... I don't like the fact that these are still there. Like, just, just go. Just go away. And y'all have anything to say? Okay, let's just head back to the house. I'm sure we have cutscenes. And as I was walking back, I think, for some, it's not Ozette. I'm trying to think it's from some game. This one sounds original, but that other one sounds like it was from Symphonia. Hi, Celica. I'm back. I can't believe it's been seven years since we lost you. And the baby you carried. Oh, drat. I forgot to bring your princessias. I know how much you, Mom, and Dad all loved those flowers. And I know your child would have too. I'm sorry. I'll pick some from the cape tomorrow. Correlate. Okay, yada yada. Let's head back into the house. Little lap lap. Uh, welcome home, Velvet. Fluffy, I told you to stay in bed. I was only up for a little. Why does he remind Look, me of Jesus? Your fever hasn't gone down a bit. Go lie down and I'll cook dinner. I'm sorry. What's this? A compass. It uses a magnet to tell you which way you're facing. Woohoo. You can use the sun and stars for that. And what'll you do if it's cloudy, huh? Thanks to this invention, we'll even be able to voyage across the ocean. See? It's designed to stay level. So your heading will be true, even when the ship is rolling with the waves. Pretty neat, right? If you say so, Luffy. Come on, it's a must-have for any adventure. Can't you see how useful it is? I'm thinking the wrong place. You can tell me more about it later. Did they hurt you? Not a scratch, and I brought back plenty. I can hear Arthur already. Gosh, Velvet, I think it's time you learned all my secret arts. He isn't coming home tonight, is he? How do you know that? Sarah stopped by and told me. Arthur's Moloch? Huh, you really can talk to Malachim, can't you? Yeah, Arthur says I've got exorcist potential. Not no kidding. Die. I think you'll be an exorcist to rival even him. Like I can back. tell you've been learning all sorts of things from his book collection. I really want to become an exorcist. I want to go traveling with you and see all the wonders of the world. I'll hunt and chop firewood, and if demons come for us, I'll defend you. Why does a demon spell over I A wish, just messes with me? I wish I could do that. You'll get there, Luffy Set. It should only take... Oh, 20 years, tops. It won't take me that long. 
Oh, yeah? You better prove it to me, then. Start with this lovely meatball stew I cooked. Eat every last mouthful, even if you don't feel hungry. And take your medicine, no matter how nasty it tastes. No tricks, am I clear? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> right, cooking time. First, I need to light the stove. Wait, we don't have a Wonder Chef? I'm sad we don't have a Wonder Chef. We got a lovely she she seashell. Banana. Particularly colored a seashell. Wait, what the hell is up here? Ooh! Rock salt. From an old rock bed. Eased in fresh squeeze from a Why are you squeezing carrots? That sounds gross. Kitchen. Why am I struggling so much? The day before Scarlet Night, Sis went prickle boar hunting on her own. She's almost as good a fighter as Arthur, so I know those prickle boars don't stand a chance. But I worry that she's too athletic to land a husband. Maybe she should try to be more ladylike. <laughs> Little scamp. He just knew I'd be reading this, didn't he? <gasps> Observations of the Nameless Imperium. Isn't this Arthur's book? Is Luffy really reading stuff this dense? We got shit to <laughs> Poor do. kid's gonna squint his eyes right out. Okay, wait, what am I supposed to be doing? Okay. It's so easy to light Arthur's firewood. I wonder what his trick is. Um, Velvet? Enchanted. Could you not put any spinach in the stew? Huh. You'll never grow up if you're picky with your food, you know. Mm, I know. But but just for today? <laughs> fine, fine. I'll leave out the spinach just this once. And I'll make it that curry flavor you like. Really? Thanks, Velvet. There's some of Arthur's special curry spice upstairs, isn't there? Already went up there. There wasn't. I came up here. There you go. Not spicy hot, but oh so delicious. That oh yeah, I saw Nico today, and she had very important things to talk about. She's coming over in the next couple days, so be on your best Who behavior. Who is she talking to? I will. Okay. I'm glad you've got a good friend. <laughs> yeah, friend. we've known each other since forever. Still, Nico falling in love? I can barely wrap my head around it. Laffy, you know, if there's a girl you like, you'll tell Big Sister all about it, right? A g girl Hmm, you're a stubborn little brat, so you might need an older girl to keep you under control. Oh, and she's gotta be a good cook. A pro in the kitchen is a success at life. Knock it off, Velvet! You should be more worried about your own love life. <laughs> Me? I I've got enough on my mind. For one thing, I've got to cook for you and Arthur since Salika is gone. Besides, getting crushes on strange men? I just don't see what so... <coughs> <gasps> Luffy, what's wrong? Whee! Let's go check on our dying... Where am I at? Are you alright? I'll bring you some water. I'm fine. You just said something funny is all. And it made me choke a bit. Hydrate, kids. As long as you're okay. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there. <laughs> Who knows what the future holds? Yeah. How much for you. But what more can I do? I I've got a duty to look after my little brother. And I'm serious you about it. I know. Deal. But I'm trying to look after you, too. You should worry about your I want you to be kid. happy. That's all. And it's not just me. Arthur worries about you, too. Well, we're family, right? Yeah. That's what families do. Thanks, Laffy. For you, 
I'd kill every last prickle boar in the forest if it came down to it. <sighs> what am I doing? I need to hurry and get dinner ready. Yeah, she gonna kill your little brother. Then it will be your fault. Alright. What is it? Oh. This house is weirdly spacious. I mean, I get it's also for three people, and it's, I would say, maybe, like, more for, like, a two-bed, but... I mean, you made the attic a room. Do what you gotta do. Good boy. You didn't forget your medicine. Well, I did promise. Tomorrow's a scarlet night. Yeah, just like that night that changed our lives. Um, Velvet, may I sleep next to you tonight? Of course. That ain't going down. I feel like all both of these chapters are going to be the heavy, heavy cutscenes. It takes a while to get into a Tales game from what I remember. So many cutscenes. And then eventually we're able to be like, okay, let's go. <sighs> okay, let's see. Today I've got to dry some meat and use that cheese I've been saving to make a quiche for Hmm? Laffy? Go get you killed. little, where have you gone? That little son of a bitch is gonna go get himself killed. That's what's gonna happen. Oh, let's go find her. Better not have gone to the village alone. Let's go find uh, her. I bet your fever hasn't even gone down. He's probably getting attacked by something. Let's be honest. That's probably what's happening. Luffy set been here? Uh, no. I haven't seen him. Wait! That's one of Arthur's! Actually, it's a copy that Luffy set made. <sighs> a smart merchant would pay a pretty penny for this book. I gave him a fair trade. Luffy, did he really copy all that by hand? must have done it to buy that compass. No, though he gave it some puppy eyes. Told him I'd throw it in for free, but he said that it would be a bad deal for me. He's a good lad, but not the merchant type. So, what did he use the money for? <sighs> I'm afraid my lips are sealed. You'll have to ask him. It. I saw Loppy set walking around. Is he okay? He's not okay. Where'd you see him? He was headed for the forest. I'll help you look for him. Thanks. Can you fight? Do a sweep of the village, just in case. I'll check the forest. Yeah, because I can fight. You can't. I learned from Vin Smoke Sanji how to fight. Oh, we have the top bubbles. I was going to have them join the search, but they won't move at all. It's like they're scared of something. I know. He might have gone to the Cape to pick flowers. Let's talk to this dude real quick. Have you seen Luffy set? Nope. Can't say that I have. All right. Let me know the second you see him. Got it. Is he in bad shape? Well, he refuses to stay in bed. He needs his rest, but he's always walking around or reading outside. I can't say I'm surprised. He's always been a curious lad. He likes reading one. difficult books. When I saw him the other day, he told me all about the latest navigation techniques 
And exotic farming methods, too. Only one kid in a million is as smart as he is. You're exaggerating. Well, maybe not. It's a shame. If he could go to school in the capital, I'm sure he'd make a name for himself as a scholar. The capital? Isn't that days and days by ship from Taliesin? No way. Not happening. Even if he gets better, I could never let him go that far away all by himself. He can handle it. He's actually a very responsible boy. I don't think you need to worry. I couldn't handle it. I, I would worry. <laughs> and be lonely. Yeah, I wouldn't tell an NPC that. Let's save. And now you guys can see how early I'm filming. I just really wanted to play this game. Hey Velvet, did you hear the news? Tonight is going to be another Scarlet Night. I remember the moon turned red seven years ago. But what is it anyway? It's a red lunar eclipse. It happens every several years or so. Apparently, you can predict the next one by watching the movements of the stars. How does he look like he's According already. to legend, a crimson moon is a gate that connects you. our world to the next. It's also said to be proof of humanity's <gasps> sins. You sure know a lot about it. Luffy said taught me just a few minutes ago. You saw Luffy? Oh, that's not a thing. Where'd he go? Actually, I don't know. You are no help, kid. Aww. Honk. Okay. Why is this having so many connections to Symphonia? I don't know which one came out first, and now I'm like... That's just what it's reminding me of. Let's fight, because we need to be Here we go. Not bad. I don't see how a switch play like that's gonna be practical. I mean, I just got done playing Assassin's. I'm not even done playing Assassin's Creed, but I did play it. You guys know. Fluffy! Velvet. Can you walk? How's your fever? I'm fine. I was just taking a break. No, you weren't. Oh, you you little. Die? You know better than this, Luffy said. Running off without telling me. What if something happened to you? What you you wouldn't be the demon? only one hurt. Do you understand that? I'm sorry. Sweet. If you want to do something, just ask. I know I'm a crummy big sister, and I can't afford to buy you all the things you want. No, that's not why I went out. You see, it was just... I get it. You're right. I forgot the flowers for the graves. Yeah, so I was going out to the Cape, and I thought... You want to see the ocean, too, don't you? Well, yeah, that too. Fine. Just for today, though. Are you sure? Is our dying brother gonna fight with us for am. a little bit? But next time you run off like that, I'm strapping you to your bed. Yes, ma'am. This is Isalia. Good. It's off to the cape, then. Hooray! Is that all? I'm getting a lot better at fighting this game. Which is awesome. I know we're, there's a chance we are over a little bit like higher level than we should be but I'm terrible at these games sometimes because sometimes I'll just be like I want to just immediately jump 
into the next thing without being like, oh, we need to, like, I don't know, level up. Right, here goes. Remember how we went out together to pick Princessias on the morning of Selica's funeral? Yeah. I was only four, but I remember. We couldn't find any in the village or at the keep. Right. Because the demons had made a mess of them. And then you suddenly started climbing down the edge of the cliff. You ran over and grabbed me. You had the scariest look on your face. Of course I did. Do you have any idea what I'd do if I lost you too? You'd still have Arthur. He'd help you. He'll help the world. He's quite the guy. That's probably true. But I'd still miss you like you wouldn't believe. I know. I'm sorry, How sis. Is it but down the cliff from look, where you were, other than I, a lone pair of Princessia like. were blooming. I remember. A gentle breeze came in. And it smelled like Celica. That's right. That's why I believe those flowers were a message from her. Do you know what Princessia flowers signify? I don't know uh, what Princessia flowers An irreplaceable flowers. treasure, and wishes for good health for many years to come. Right. And that sums up my feelings nicely, it's Luffy. So itty yeah. Me too, this sis. This might be house. This might be the music from Lloyd's house, the more I think about it. That's what it might be. I'm not sure. But I think it might be Lloyd's music, Lloyd's house music. Uh, just look at all these. Also, don't mind that. That's literally shadow. <laughs> this place never changes, does it? It does too change. The seasons, the wind, the weather. Change one and the sea's totally different. And the same goes for what lies across the sea. Across the sea? Sometimes I just don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Velvet. Thank you for taking me out here today. You don't need to thank me. I apologize because you don't kill your brother. Hey, Luffy. Do you know why it is that birds fly? Well, if they didn't, they couldn't catch food. Or escape from predators. Thought so. <laughs> but you know, I think there's more to it than that. A bird that's born with wings has to... Oh! Luffy said, run! No matter how much it hurts, run! Velvet! Don't be scared. You can do it. You're going to be strong, like Arthur. So run away. You can't! Go! Why is a demon here? Yeah, I don't want to go alone. You have to. Don't let your feelings get in the way, or that thing will kill you too. But please, go! Oh damn, this thing hit hard. Oh, it's LB. It's just like Arthur said. I have to do this. Stop! Face me, demon! Kid, you suck! You don't die!
just idiots. How? How did I get home? You saw Arthur! I love it! Fluffy, you're alright. Ah, sorry. It's all my fault. That is genius. If you weren't there, there's no telling what might have happened to me. You would have got him and ran. For a Your old one broke, right? You've got beautiful hair. It would be a waste if you didn't take care of that it. That sounds weird. Be a waste? I'll make a new world. A world where my sister can be happy. Is this Tales of Symphonia prequel? Are we buying this Martell? I thought Martell had green hair. There's so many... There's so much, like, cutscenes that I'm like, I can't end the episode. The Scarlet Knight? What's going on? You knew it was the was Scarlet that, Knight! Was it all a dream? No, it wasn't! You knew this! I don't know when we can save. We're gonna play until we can hit a save point. I don't know how long it's gonna be. You knew what was happening! You knew! Jumping back into this. <laughs> I'll see you guys then. Bye.